So when you're just starting out photography, the hardest part about photography is often not the art of photography itself, but it's the part where you have to learn and research all the cameras and lenses and deciding what to buy. And for enthusiasts like myself, that process can be fun, but for a lot of people, it can be quite overwhelming. Today, we're going to talk about some of the differences between a zoom lens and a prime lens. And as you can imagine, being a YouTuber, I get asked this question all the time, you know, what camera should I get? What lens should I get? You know, but we all have different budgets and needs and all I can do is to provide you the information you need so you can more easily decide what's best for you. This video isn't really for experienced photographers, but for those of you who are new to the subject, let me just go over some of the differences. So a zoom lens, as the name suggests, is a lens that can zoom from one focal length to another. So for example, this lens is an 18 to 55 millimeter lens. So it goes from 18 millimeters to 55 and it covers anything in between. When people hear the term zoom, they might often associate it with the long telephoto lenses, but a zoom lens can be used in any focal length. So for example, this lens right here is a 10 to 24 millimeter lens and it's an extremely wide angle zoom lens. And the prime lens on the other hand is a lens that does not zoom. So for example, this is a 35 millimeter lens and it does not zoom in or out to 18 or 55 or whatever focal lengths. It's always a 35 millimeter lens. And this is an 18 millimeter lens and this is a 23 millimeter lens and this is a 56 millimeter lens. So if you're someone who likes to shoot sometimes at 18 millimeters, 23 millimeters, 35 millimeters, or sometimes 55 or 56 millimeters, you have a choice to buy either all of these or just one of these. So any reasonable human being would ask, so if one lens could cover all the focal lengths that I need, why would I then need three or four separate primes. And essentially that's what we're trying to figure out in this video. In the olden days, we used to say that you get better image quality with a prime lens, but image quality could mean many things. It could be sharpness, it could mean less chromatic aberration, less vignetting, less distortion or flare, it could mean better color, but there are many zoom lenses that can outperform a prime lens in any of those categories. It has nothing to do with a lens being a zoom lens or a prime lens. But one difference that's still usually true is that with a prime lens, you can usually get a much bigger aperture than you would with any zoom lenses. Now, if you don't know what aperture is, I recommend watching my how to shoot manual video to learn more about it. But just really quickly, Bigger aperture basically means you uh, get more light into the camera so you get better low light performance and you also get shallower depth of field so you get more background blur. So in that sense, it is true that you get better image quality with a prime lens than a zoom lens. Because the zoom lens that I just showed you, the 18 to 55, has a maximum variable aperture of 2.8 to 4 and the 35 millimeter lens that I just showed you has the maximum aperture of 1.4 and the 56 millimeter lens has the aperture of 1.2. And no matter what manufacturer, there are no zoom lenses that can do 1.2 or 1.4. I guess the closest thing would be the Sigma 18 to 35 1.8 and that's a very popular lens for that reason. And another thing will be the, the new Canon 28 f2, but that lens is like heavier than the moon and it costs about as much as a used car. So in most zoom lenses, the best you're gonna get is 2.8. So a zoom lens can give you more range with different focal lengths, but a prime lens can give you more options with a bigger aperture. But just always remember that bigger aperture doesn't always mean better optics. So a zoom lens can always be sharper than the prime lens or have less chromatic aberration or distortion or vignetting or vice versa. So it has nothing to do with a lens being a zoom lens or a prime lens. So it's hard to say whether a zoom lens or a prime lens is better, but you just have to ask yourself what you like to shoot and where you like to shoot and how many lenses you are willing to carry around with you and if you're gonna be able to change lenses constantly so for example, if you're an event photographer and if you're gonna be shooting in a fairly well-lit environment or if you're gonna be using flash and if you can't necessarily be changing lenses all the time, then maybe using a zoom lens can be better for you. Or if you're a portrait shooter and if you're gonna be shooting in a much more controlled environment and if you want the maximum subject separation, 
then maybe using a faster prime might be better for you. And you know, you can always mix and match as well. And it's not like you have to choose a team and stick with it. You can use two cameras with two different lenses. It's totally up to you. I mean, if you're watching this video, you're probably not a professional wedding photographer, but just think about what you normally shoot and where you like to shoot and what's best for you. And there's no right answer here. You can only answer that yourself. For me personally, I've been enjoying shooting with prime lenses more than zoom lenses in the recent years. You know, unless you're a portrait photographer, when you're shooting with a prime, there's always that fear that you're gonna miss something. But nowadays, I usually know what focal length that I need and try to stick with it most of the day. And when I'm shooting at an event, I just use two cameras. I may not always use the maximum aperture, but I like having the option to be able to do that. And when I'm shooting with a prime, I like the consistency that I get from all of my shots. So when you're taking thousands of photos a day of just different people it's nice to have that consistency in your images so that it can add to your storytelling side of things I mean obviously you can do that with a zoom lens as well but like I said I like having the option to be able to shoot at higher aperture and also I think personally I like having or not having the option of being able to zoom in or out because when I know what my focal length is when I uh, see a shot and I can just quickly lift up my camera to my eye and I know what kind of shot I would get but with a zoom lens there is the additional step where you have to adjust your focal length so for me personally using a prime lens is faster for me but that's totally up to you but there's no right or wrong answer here so if you're someone looking to upgrade your kit lens that came with your camera or maybe looking to buy your first prime just practice with your kit lens and see what focal length you like to shoot at most maybe you like to shoot landscapes with wider angles or maybe you like to shoot close-up portraits I have a lot of other videos on my channel about different focal lengths and videos explaining the different between a full frame and a crop sensor so please take a look at those and if you have any other questions just let me know in the comments and I'll try to get to them all so thank you for watching and that's it for me today and I will see you next time bye bye